We are here at the World Roundup Freestyle Competition with Stefan Lillis Ackerson. You know what? Nobody ever, ever guessed my name correctly. Not even my first name or my last name. It is not Stefan. Is it not Atkinson? It is Stefan Åkesson. How hard should it be? Or oh, think about something nice, something like massaging, like, oh, then you go Åkesson. So easy. And Stefan is also easy. Stefan, why Stefan? Stefan. Stefan Åkesson. My nickname is easier. It's just Lilis. Nobody gets that wrong so far. Stefan is from Sweden. He's here at the World Roundup Freestyle Competition in Canada. Stefan, you've been here every year. This is year number six. You're in the pro. You always place top ten. Stefan is a showmaker. Tell us why you love coming to the World Roundup. Correction, correction. <laughs> I was here even year zero, the year before. I was here snowboarding, me and my son with Kevin Harris, and Kevin told me about they did a demo at this curling rink, and he wanted to have a contest here. So we went here, and we looked into this, we went in here and looked at the area, and we filmed the promotional video outside for this contest. And the reason I go here is because, well, it's foremost, it's fun. A lot of freestylers come here, so it's an opportunity to meet my friends and to perform in front of the Canadian crowd. And uh, yeah, and I think it is, uh, what I like about it is that it's so many days. It's not like one day. It's like a skateboarding camp. I used to be part of the famous Swedish skateboarding camps in the early 80s. And this is like a, a skateboard camp, which I told Kevin in nine, what is that, 2007, we had the World Championships here? 2012. Yeah. And the worst, no, not the World, uh, Championship, uh, World Championships of 2007. Oh, yes. At yeah. the uh, Robson Square. Yeah, Robson and Square. I told Kevin, at, when we were at his farm, we should have a summer camp again. We should bring people here to your farm. Yeah. But this is pretty much the same, but kind of a bigger thing than at this farm, what I mean? Oh, yeah. so, so for me, this is like a, a, a skateboard camp where we are session, having contest, hanging out, you know. What do you think about how this contest has grown over the last six years and the level of the competition that you see out there? Uh, we get in one and a half minute now, <laughs> we're in the finals. Uh, my, what, what I like about what you're doing here is, it's not just a contest, it's, um, it's a demo for the people coming to this to this fair. So they try to adapt the format to the crowd. So it's not only about the competition, it's to make it uh, good for the crowds that are coming here. That's why they're trying different formats, like the one minute run, one and a half minute. You used to have two minutes. Two minutes is better for me because that's what I'm used to. But here they try to adapt it so everyone will perform good in front of the crowd. So what I like is what they're doing is they, they, they are listening to us, what we want, and also have the audience in, in their minds. So it becomes a great show and a great competition at the same time. And I know already there are going to be changes for next year. They are adapting every year and they are uh, putting in a little bit more things, you know, uh, always progressing. Yeah. So uh, it's always exciting to, to, to come here because it's also something new. And I like that every year is more and more skaters coming here. As we have this year, like 63 skaters or something. I've been competing since 1980. I've never been at the freestyle contest with this many competitors and this level. Speaking of that, you're over 50 years old, whether you look <laughs> no, no, like no, it. No, just joking. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? My parents, they claim I was born in 1964. But what do, what do I know? I don't remember. That is just hearsay. I don't remember being born. Do you remember being born? 
do it, do you? Honestly, do you remember? I'm running the interview here. You don't remember? <laughs> Here's my question. As someone who's in their 50s, who has been doing freestyle for this long, over 30 years. 39. 39 and years. Freestyling. Yeah, I love, um, you know, re reincarnation and all the things, you know. <laughs> what do you think about seeing an eight year old in the top three in amateur? I think they should uh, put in action the law we had in Sweden in 1978. You must be 12 to skateboard. No, honestly, I think it is amazing. It's, it's really amazing. It's, it's so inspiring. Oh, yeah. And I'm trying to learn from it because when you're that young, you don't know about gravity and those things as much, right? You're doing tricks that goes against the gravity. So I think the trick also for us is to free our minds and get rid of what we think is possible or not possible. I think so. I'm, I'm trying to learn from, from the kids to open up my, myself or, and not have this, like, I can't do this. I think about, I can do it, you know what I mean? Not, not think too much about what's possible and not possible. I think that that said it all. When you have an age range like this, the older guys are the mentors for the young guys, but the young guys are what keep the older guys trying to learn more and stay up with that new competition. This is Stefan Ackerson. I'll never get his name right. World Roundup. One more thing. Keep going. Keep going. One, one more thing. I go to Japan once a year, and these kids are my mentors now. They teach me. I ask them then for tips and advice, and then teaching me. And now I'm teaching you, Stefan. Stefan. Orkison. 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 <laughs> World Roundup 2017, number six.